Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I want to look at two propagation projects I have going on right now. Both of them are Ficus benjamina, they're actually from the same plant. And what I want to do today is combine them. So we have two very different propagations, we're going to look at them a bit more in detail and then we will start working on them. So here we have quite a traditional propagation project, so it was basically an offshoot of the main plant, so it had its own established root system. I simply put it in its own pot and has been growing since then. Basically this entire branch here has grown newly and of course some leaves on the older branches as well. This one here is a bit more interesting. I actually took it as a cutting from an existing tree, an existing ficus benjamina and I have tried to start growing it more into a cascade form or at least a semi-cascade form. Uh, the goal of course is later on to have it in a nice fitting bonsai pot, so in a cascade pot, and have this nicely draping over the edge of the pot. However, unfortunately it had a little branch here in this direction that has died back and I do think it would really fit the design to have something also growing up here, so a little apex also on this side. And I thought why not combine those two cuttings and try to fuse them together and get this way the desired look out of this tree. So what is the plan for today? It is basically repotting both of these. I'm not sure if I will repot into one of those pots. I have thought about maybe using this one again, but adjusting the soil a little bit. It is mainly a coco coir mixture, so I might make it a bit more airy by adding some clay pebbles. So I would say let's start right away with this project by first of all taking out this little plant and then deciding maybe we can add it to the existing plant here or maybe move to another pot altogether. So let me move the other one a little bit out of the way to give you a better view. So we move this one here and we bring this a bit more center and we will start to take it out. Uh, there has been some dieback now this winter. I think once it got a bit too dry, that is often the case that can happen with those clay pots. They do dry out quite fast and if you overlook it for one or two days, of course, even a ficus benjamina, which is normally quite hardy, can react to that. But not all was lost. I'm already interested to see how established the root system actually is and do see some roots down here. So that is a good sign. I simply try to take off the soil mainly back into this pot. You can see the soil is just this normal potting mixture you can find ready in stores with a lot of small pumice inside. I haven't watered in the last two to three days, so it is quite easy to take off the soil because of course when it's dry it doesn't cling that much to the roots, which is always something I tend to do, so that's definitely a tip I can give you. When repotting, don't water one or two days before. Simply makes your life way easier this way. So I see one or two big feeder roots and other than that not too many established roots actually and a bit one-sided so not any radial roots or anything like that going on so the root system is definitely not developed a lot at this point you can see you have this one big bulbous root that are it's quite common for ficus this is the way the root system looks on them and then thinner feeder roots going off of that so here we go the question is now, do we simply add this in this pot here or do we take them out altogether and pot them up new? I think it is actually the better way to pot them up new. So take them out, tie them together, put them back either into this pot or into a new pot. So we do the same thing with this plant here. And I already am suspecting that the root mass on this one is not as developed as I would hope. And it definitely seems this way. You see there's almost no root system. And I think the reason is because the pot was too big for it. You can see there's almost no root system on this one. Shockingly little actually. Of course one reason for that is, as I said, it was a cutting. So the root system you can see has developed afterwards from different parts here lower at the trunk. But nevertheless, I mean I have had this potted up now for I think two years minimum and this is all the roots we have achieved since then. That is definitely not enough. 
that means the soil it was in was not the right soil. Maybe also the, the spot it was in was not the right spot, but we do need to change something here. And looking at how this root system has developed since then, I might even tend to go a bit in the direction of the, the potting mixture I had used for this one. So basically the potting mixture we had here. However, as I said, I want to mix it a little bit. So first what we're going to do before we look really at the pot and the mixture we use it, we need to tie those two together. So if we look at those two plants, my idea and my plan is to have them fused together here at the lower part. So basically like this, could be a bit in the back or in the front, it doesn't really matter, and have here two or one new branches, depending on which side branch we use, develop from here on onwards. And that's why we have to tie them together. So actually I'm quite happy already with tying them together like this. So the way it is right now, it fits quite nicely. So what we're going to take is a little piece of wire and we will wrap it around the stem here. I need to make sure I'm not trapping any roots that are pointing upwards right now. I want to do it quite close to the branches because of course we need to have them stick together quite quite strongly for them to actually fuse. But I don't want it too tightly so in case the tree still grows of course we're not cutting off all the nutrients that would come through through the stem of course. So something like this fusing together a very very tiny tree to a tree that still in itself is not of course the thickest but this way improving the overall thickness and the overall hopefully future look of this tree. Let me see again here we would have this branch in the back could develop further or even this longer branch here that could develop in this direction. And you can see the foliage, you can see it is the same genus, so it definitely fits together. This is the initial look, of course we're still going to refine this a little bit once we have potted it up, but for now let's get to this step and pot up this little fused plant, or hopefully in the future fused plant. I will not do any root pruning, you saw how little this root system was, so I'm not even going to take out these long roots here, I just will let them on the way they are and hope it will settle nicely into a new pot. So as I said, I wouldn't go with the potting mixture we had before, maybe rather this one from the small plant. However, I still want to actually add some more clay to this. So I'll best take out some of it. Make also sure we don't have any dead leaves in here, because of course we don't want any rotting material in a new soil mixture. And what I want to do is add some more clay pebbles. So I just prepared some clay pebbles here. I'm going to mix them into the soil here and then use this again to pot up. I'm really mixing basically on the table here right now. Normally I would do this in a separate pot, but as we're doing this on the fly, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this pot, of course, quite almost all the way to the top, I would say, because I don't want to pot this too, too low in the pot, so it would even add more than this. So basically go all the way up to the rim here. Again, as I see, we can add some more clay pebbles still. Just fill this pot as much as possible. Then we take our tree, we position it. As it is a round pot, I'm not thinking too much about now where a potential front or potential back could be in the future, because for now, the important thing is that we will grow a healthy tree here that in the future then can be refined and worked on in more, more detail. And now we just use all the left soil and fill this pot. Again, I like to add a quite liberal layer of clay pebbles, making sure we have enough soil in here also to really stabilize the tree and it not falling out. Of course, I do want to actually position it in a way that it will be leaning. So again, let me check how to best do this while covering, of course, also the new roots that have been in a different angle, actually. So how do we do this best to make it also hold and cover all the, the, the roots, basically? So, and of course, then 
we might even apply some wire and we take some more soil. And again, some clay pebbles, making sure everything is covered here. I'm trying to press them down also a little bit. Of course, we don't want any air pockets in here where moisture could be trapped. And of course, that could lead to root rot otherwise. And I can already see it is holding quite nicely in the pot. No risk of jumping out because of course that is a risk, especially when it comes to cascading trees. But it looks like everything is holding. And of course, just fill it up as much as possible. No harm in that. So let me move again, everything out of the way. And we take a look at how it is looking at the moment. And then we will still prune it a little bit. I like the cascading of it. I like the health of the tree itself. So the foliage is very healthy. And all that is left now to do is give it a bit of a prune still. So especially, of course, this branch is here. The new ones, we might want to prune back a little bit. This one here that has been an offshoot of the old tree, we definitely won't need. So I take this off right away. But other than that, I just would decrease the height here a little bit. Maybe even more than that, but because we already have some nice branching going on, I would leave it at this point. But the goal, of course, would be to have it more growing in this direction. So we probably still wire this even a little bit. Or I wait till growth season, actually, because it's very thin still. So don't want to risk going there. Even this one here would look nice if we wire it like this. And that would actually be, so if we think those two together maybe even growing in this direction creating a new apex on the top of the tree here basically what has died back right here in the front changing with a new tree basically so i think that could give it a nice look so i think i actually will wire it already why not we're already here it's settled into a new pot so we can also wire it so I suspect we won't need too much wire for that, depending on how we're going to wire it. It might be a bit difficult to access it actually here, because we might wire with the main trunk here, giving it again more stability, those two new trees together. So I'm just shortening the wire. I will... how will I do that? There's nothing I can really hook it to, so that is my main concern right now. That is also why I wanted or thought about maybe waiting a bit longer until it is more settled in here. But I think we can do that. Here's some dead, unfortunately, aerial root. So we would go to the main trunk here. Wait, let me first create the hook. So it's easier to get the start on the tree because that is the the difficult part right now to, to first get the wire to really fixate somewhere and once it does the rest should be quite easy but this fixating is the difficult part right now and we might have to pot it in then again because of course I'm, I might rip it out of the newly potted up part right now but we will check that in a minute once we have wired it how it's holding so and basically just I'm not really putting it too tight, I'm just using the wire as a, a little direction in which I want to pull this part already to, to just give it, as I said, the direction, but not really force it into a finished state yet, because it is simply too thin, the branching here at this point. But just giving it the general idea in which, in which way I want it to grow, basically. Of course, it looks messy right now still anyway because we have so much foliage here still but having said that we might cut this back actually a little bit take out some of that foliage take out some of the noise and have it grow here and i would say i'm quite happy with the result we basically built out this part here that unfortunately has died back on the original tree and in the future, they hopefully will fuse together and we have a great starter tree for another bonsai. 
If you have any questions about ficus, about my third ideas for this tree, feel free to leave them in the comments. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. I will keep you updated on this one as well. So if you're interested, of course, also feel free to subscribe. And I will see you then. So take care and goodbye.